Hey you guys, it's Stone Guy 223 out here at the range today. It's a gorgeous day. Uh, I've got a variety of pistols out here and I uh, thought I'd do a little test. Now this is definitely not going to be scientific in the least, um, but you know, good little test of 9 versus 40 versus 45, 380, 357, you know, there's, I think that's always the big question, um, you know, is one better than the other? Is 9 better than 40, 40, you know, better than 45 and so on? So what I've done, um, I've got, you know, I've got my, uh, my Glock 41 and 45, got the Glock 22 in the 40 caliber, the Glock 34 and 9 millimeter, my little 380, and of course my Ruger GP100 um, and then the AR pistol and what I wanted to do was just kind of show a variety of um, you know modern ammunition uh, from the good PDX ones some the new ammunition by SIG critical duty so I'm just gonna do kind of a a lot of different rounds uh, ball rounds and what I've chosen is um, uh, basically it's a, a two by six or two by I don't know what it is it's a you know it's bigger than a two by four um, I'm not sure well, I'm not a builder so I don't know what the, the dimension is but you can see my hand it's a you know it's a good size uh, piece of wood um, and about inch and a half two inches uh, thick uh, so that's what I'm going to be shooting and just get different results for penetration. Um, you know, a lot of people talk smack about the 380, so I wanted to compare that directly to a 9mm um, and, and just kind of see what we get, guys. Um, you know, hopefully this will be interesting to you. Um, but nonetheless, it's going to be a good day at the range. So stand by. And uh, so now that I've kind of explained the setup, we'll, uh, we'll get to it. All right, guys, so the first shot's uh, just a single board. Uh, these are all going to be full metal jacket, just ball target ammo uh, as a baseline. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm expecting all the rounds to go through, you know, this one piece, uh, one piece of wood. Um, but like I said, we need to establish a baseline. Uh, so I'm just going to shoot them uh, consecutively in no particular order just to expedite this footage. Um, so here we go. Um, I'm going to start with a 380. You know, everybody says 380s junk. Um, you know, I always I stand behind my 380. So let's give it a whirl and uh, see what we get here. All right, guys, that went slam through it. I don't know if you can see. Let me try to zoom in a little bit here. Um, round I forgot my bipod figures so hopefully it's not too shaky guys but all right so that was the 380 let's go 357 next Zip right through as expected. Uh, nine millimeter. That one hit a little close to the 380. Let's, let's bring it down just a bit. There we go. And it went right through. All right, this is going to be the uh, 41. Uh, 45 caliber. Right. Hit a little on the side on that one, so I took another shot, and they both went straight through. You can see them down there. And the last, let's go to the very bottom with the 40 cal. Definitely, uh, as expected, went through. So I went ahead and went up to three. You know, based on the results from just the single board, um, I felt like a lot of them would definitely go through two. 
so I, I've got three boards stacked out there and um, again we're just kind of kind of go through and uh, see what we can get um, I think I'm gonna start with the 357 Magnum um, just again as kind of a baseline I feel like if the 357 doesn't go through um, you know probably the 45 or the 9 will not either so let's see let's see what happens with the uh, 357 first so All right, perfect guys. As you see, I got it right in between the bands. That's right where I was aiming, kind of a, a different segment. Let's run out real quick and, uh, and just kind of take a look and just see what happened with the 357. Um, just kind of, man, it is hot out today. About 93 degrees here. And boom, complete pass through. You guys can see that so the 357 just regular round nose went slam through all right guys let's go uh, let's go from one extreme to the other I went with 357 Magnum first um, it went straight through three boards let's go to the 45 um, you know bigger bullet slower bullet uh, this is 230 grain round nose uh, the 357 was a 142 grain FMJ uh, so this uh, you know so we're gonna go 45 now and see what happens so. all right guys I'm just gonna walk out um, and just check it we're not gonna take you with me just run out there real quick and see what's up so Stand by, be right back. We did not have a pass through on that. The forty five did not go through. Uh, we'll we'll peel the boards in a second, but let's go ahead and continue. Um, let's go with nine millimeter next. Beautiful, got it right in there again. And again, I'm gonna run out, leave you guys here. Uh, just be quicker and less shaky. So one sec. No pass through guys, uh, nine millimeter did not go through either. All right, well, at this point it's kind of redundant, but uh, we'll go 40 and just see if, uh, you know, if there's a difference. Right, another great shot. Um, you know, trying to get some separation so, you know, you can't say the integrity of the board was compromised. But, you know, again, this isn't scientific, but uh, it's fun nonetheless. So, again, guys, I'm going to run down and check it out. Now that is super cool. I'll have to show you when I take the boards off. Uh, that piece of rebar, I hit dead in line with the rebar. The, the 40 went through the back plate and obviously hit the rebar and stuck. So it's stuck in the third board. So let me take another shot away from the third board or away from the rebar and see if it goes straight through the, all three boards. So 
let's do that again but that's that's super neat the bullets jammed in there I'll show you guys here in a second all right that, that definitely didn't hit the rebar let me run down there Yes, absolutely that 40 went slammed through um, so hey maybe there is a little uh, little something to this 40 cal everybody keeps saying it's better than nine um, definitely in just straight penetration test here it's uh, it's definitely beat the 45 and the and the nine millimeter all right guys so I took all the boards apart so that was the 40 caliber um, you know you can see where it must have hit that rebar and and kept it from going all the way through and then the, the second shot definitely you know went all the way through and that was the 45 um, I dug that out of the second board going into the third board um, and you see no um, really no deformation at all uh, which I thought was kind of weird uh, just you know, basically punched right through and stopped um, the other rounds are, are buried inside the board uh, where I couldn't get to them and from the looks of it it looked like they all stopped you know um, in that second board somewhere so the 9 the 380 the um, um, yeah the 9 and the 380 and the 45 obviously stopped in this third board but the other one stopped in the second so what I've done now I went ahead and just put up two boards okay out there and I have switched to the carry round carry ammo you know the, the good stuff um, since the ball ammunition was penetrating all the way through the first and stopping in the second or third uh, depending on the caliber I thought that you know just put the two boards up there now and see what we get as far as uh, penetration um, on some carry ammo so that's what we're doing now I've loaded everything up and we're gonna take some shots so, I'm going to set you down, zoom it in here, and we'll get to work here on, uh, on the carry round. Um, like I said, the first one I think I'm going to shoot is the 45, and on the 45 I've got the critical duty. Well, this is a 220 flex lock, uh, 45 plus P advertised velocity of 990 so we'll see if it'll punch through uh, with all those specs damn well it definitely did more than the the round nose let's go right out there and see here Damn guys, let me just tell you, it blew a chunk out of the back of that thing. Um, went slam through and nasty chunk out of the back. So that, Jesus, that uh, that 45 critical duty is no joke. All right, next I've got the um, the same. Well, you know what? Let's do this. I've got some nine millimeter critical duty. That same flex. Let me put that in this nine millimeter real quick. And that way, kind of compare. That apples there um, on that one. I wasn't going to shoot. Oh, I'll shoot PDX1 too. Let's try that first. Nice. And I think this is going to be the PDX1 now. Beautiful. Split the band. Alright, let's run out there and see what we got. Well, I'll just wait. All right, next we've got the 40 cal, and the 40 is going to be with some spear gold dot. And the, well, we knew that was going through. Um, next is a 380 auto. Uh, the 380 I got loaded with, again, some Hornady 90 grain XTP 
bullet, so let's see how that does. Good. 357, we've got again that uh, the flex lock from Hornady. Flex tip, or what do they call it? Critical duty flex tip. 357 Magnum. Woo! Lord. Let's run out there and check this out, guys. This looks nasty. <laughs> tell the difference between the full metal jacket stuff and the rounds that are designed to uh, to expand so let's take a look here look at the freaking hole on the back side that was from that 45 um, and the other ones are you know so, so we're getting complete pass-throughs um, on the uh, you know oh look at that that was the that must have just went through and fell straight down that was the flex tip um, so it, it looks like with the higher velocity on these carry rounds um, even though they're hollow points the, they're they're punching right through this board way better than uh, just the round nose were again that's that's too uh, boards and it's cutting right through it so all right guys so here's the deal I just I, I couldn't leave well enough alone I stacked four boards out there um, you know 40 went through three like nothing uh, so uh, I just had to see if it'd go through four so as of now we've got 357 that went straight through. oh well, I could do the 57 too because that went straight through three and so the 40 so let's let's go 40 caliber through four and then 357 and see if it'll go through all four let's check it out Well guys, it looks like three is the limit. It did not go through the fourth one. But we do have one more round of the 357 Magnum, so let's give that a shot. See if it'll go through four. All right guys, let's see here. And again guys no penetration through the third board it only made it through or through the fourth board rather it, it did go through three and left a little dent in the four so seems like that's kind of the the tipping point is uh about three of those boards so anyway guys uh appreciate you watching hope you learned something thanks for all the support and uh stay tuned